in the last lecture, when I auctioned off that iPod and I only got a third of the price, would you consider that a perfect market? It didn't feel that way to me. <laughs> but on the other hand, it worked. I had something that I wanted to unload, and I unloaded it at a price that two mutually consenting adults agreed to. So you know that worked. That, that was pretty good. But in order for us to understand whether or not it really works, we've actually got to take apart the box. We've got to open up VT. I'm not going to do that just yet. I want to first acknowledge that there exist VTs out there. And more often than not, when you let the market dictate what that VT is, you actually get some pretty interesting results, results that will require a little bit more structure to interpret. One way to interpret the structure is to acknowledge that there's a time element to the cash flows. So when I ask you to analyze a VT or an asset, the first thing you're going to want to do is to draw this picture right here. And I'm serious about this. In order for you to understand the value of an asset, you have to know the timing of the cash flows. Time means everything in finance. Okay? A cash flow today is not the same as a cash flow next year. 